guys, this is Darwin with another review, and uh, this I'm excited for. This is Elysian's Punkachino. Uh, this is a 5%, so pretty small. Uh, uh, coffee Pumpkin Ale uh, is brewed with Stumptown Coffee, Nutmeg, and Cinnamon. It's actually been a great pumpkin year, uh, pumpkin beer year for me, because um, uh, Almanac uh, with their Dark Pumpkin Sour and Heirloom Pumpkin, two incredible brews. Uh, first time I got to try the, um, uh, what was it? Uh, the uh, Stevens Point Whole Hog. Uh, one of the best uh, pumpkin ale, straight up regular pumpkin ales I've had. And so this is a fun one. Um, looks awesome. I mean, it looks like a really fun beer. So anyway, uh, comes in a nice kind of a, a dark brown color. Almost looks like a porter. A nice kind of brown head on that. Let's get the aroma. Ooh, <laughs> that is nice. Um, it smells almost like uh, Shoko Besa with that big pop of cinnamon and nutmeg. A lot of coffee. It does have that Shoko Besa kind of thing with that big pop of uh, cinnamon. Wow, it is so like spice forward and um, get the roast of the coffee, a little bit of maybe that underlying roasted uh, malt quality. I don't really get too much pumpkin. Yeah, cheers. It's pretty much uh, predominated by that bitterness of the coffee and again, those spices. Mmm. Well, that's tasty. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow, that's nice. Wow. Yeah, um, to me, this has really incredible uh, comparisons to Choco Beso. Um, a lot of, um, uh, again, that cinnamon in the front, that nutmeg, again, nice kind of coffee bitterness. Um, again, all those three ingredients are in Choco Besa. This itself, this does not have cocoa nib, uh, vanilla, and the peppers, but it has those other three elements. And those are very, those elements shine through very much like Choco Besa. Oh man, it's lovely. There's a wonderful kind of um, uh, uh, chocolate note that comes in the mid palate and just you know slowly goes down the palate. I'm not getting too much pumpkin, maybe a little pop of it in the middle, but it's mostly predominated again by that spice character, a nice kind of bitterness of coffee and that chocolate, and even maybe even like, maybe even hints of vanilla coming through because that, that chocolate's so smooth and you know milk chocolatey. Hmm. Wow. I wouldn't have guessed this beer is 5%. I would have guessed it's probably towards 6, 7. Um, it just has pops with a lot of flavor. Dangerously drinkable. And, and what I like about it, at 5%, somehow it still has that wonderful malt quality. A lot of chocolate just um, enveloping the palate. It's really not a thin beer. It's not a light flavored beer. It really has flavors going out uh, throughout the beer. Uh, again, that wonderful uh, spice character in the front. Very comparable to Choco Besa. Um, yeah, this to me is more of a, a spiced porter than a, a, than a, a, a coffee spice porter than a pumpkin ale. Mm. Absolutely killer. Wow. Really good stuff. Man, that's a lot of flavor for 5% cheese. Um, Choco Base is killing it. This is killing it. Um, um, what, what should I give this? Uh, Beer Advocate has it as a 93. 94. This is incredible. Highly recommended. One of the best pumpkin beers I've had of this season. I would probably, I probably wouldn't call it a pumpkin beer. I probably consider it more of a, a spiced coffee beer. So if you're into Choco Besa, into uh, Prairie Bomb and all that good stuff, you know, into the adjunct stout, this is probably where you want to be. It's five percent though, so don't expect a huge crazy beer, but it is really delicious. So let me know if you guys had the Elysian Punkachino. Lives up to the hype. This is a delicious beer. Until next time, guys. Cheers later.